and then this box pops up and what you want to do guys is you just want to make a lot of motions uh, really fast so you're going to use keyframe for that so as you can see there we have a little timeline at the bottom you just want to press the keyframe boom Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Tony Vegas tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Twitch effect. For a lot of people who don't know uh, what the Twitch effect is, the Twitch effect is actually, uh, you have a clip and a little part, I would say one to two seconds, even maybe even shorter, are just um, frames moving from the position with a kind of 3D effect onto, uh, like on top of it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Sony Vegas, it has been requested a lot. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video, so make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say, oh, let's get started. All right, guys. So we are on Sony Vegas again for the last time of today. And basically, guys, the next thing that the first thing that you want to do actually is you want to decide where you want to put um, the Twitch effect. So let's see. Let's browse through the clip and let's see where it should fit. Hi, guys. My name is Alex, and in this video, guys. I'm okay, I'm I'm going to apply it to in this video, guys. So what you want to do is you want to press S. So you want to cut it. Then also you want to you know cut at the end. So click on there, click on that one. And press also an S. So this is loose. So what you want to do first is in order to uh, make it twitch effect, you just want to click on this little icon which says event pan crop on your clip that you want to use the effect on. And then this box pops up. And what you want to do, guys, is you just want to make a lot of motions uh, really fast. So you're going to use keyframes for that. So as you can see, there we have a little timeline at the bottom. You just want to press a keyframe, boom. Then you just want to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, then what you want to do is place the next keyframe, uh, this one, then you just want to place it right there, make it like move it a little bit, then place the next keyframe, move it a little bit, next keyframe, move it again, and just want to continue this until you have, you think you have enough. So we're just going to keep moving this, keep replacing, uh, well keep placing uh, key, uh, keyframes, and then you can just keep replacing the position of your video as you can see I'm gonna do this like that two hours later boom so as you guys can see right now we have a lot of keyframes and this is going to shake as you can see as you guys can see it's really fast so it looks like this in this video guys so as you can see it looks really really it's, it's going really really fast so it, but that looks actually pretty good guys so let's just start um, with let's just cut where the movement stop I'm just going to fill the entire uh, timeline with keyframes. Okay, so we made I just finished the keyframes and let's see how, what it looks like in this video guys I'm in this video guys, so it's really really shaky So the next thing that you want to do is as you guys can see we have uh, the twitch effect this one in this video the shake effect So the next thing you want to do to make the, the 3d effect So you want to go over to uh, video effects of course and what you want to look for is this one stereoscopic 3d adjust you just want to press you want to just pick the default one and drag this on top of the clip that you want to use and once you've dragged it on top of that uh, you don't want to do anything uh, yet because you want to first go over to the project video properties and also of course you want to go to stereoscope 3d mode and you want to put that one to this one right see it so we can click on apply and as you guys can see, if we are going to press, uh, do the zoom one, it is starting to appear as you can see. So it is actually starting to look like uh, like 3D. So let's mess around a little bit with those markers. You can do that too. So you just want to, it's really simple guys, just uh, go right here on this one. Uh, just just pick the stere stereoscope 3D mode. You want to pick that one to red cyan. Then you just want to drag the stereoscopic 3D adjust uh, on your clip. And you start messing around with those markers. So it as you guys can see, it looks really good. So let's see what it looks like. In this video, guys, you can go ahead and, and like mess with the markers. As you can see, you're going to start playing with the zoom. You can do so many other things, guys. It is that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how to make a Twitch effect, as always. Uh, it is that simple. So I would say that's the video. That's for the video, guys. That's how you make a Twitch effect in Sony Vegas. It is that easy. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. What's happening, guys? My name is Alec. My name is Alex and what the hell is going on with the screen dude? My name is Alex and in this video guys I'm gonna show you guys how to make the screen shake. I don't know what that what that was wrong. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the screen shake guys in Sony Vegas. It's gonna be really simple, really awesome, and I'm stoked to make this tutorial. Let's get started. Okay guys, so now that we are on Sony Vegas, I'm going to drag in a little clip so I can show you guys um, what it's going to look like, and I'm gonna use that as an example as well. So let me drag in a clip uh, real quick so I can 
uh, make that clip move you know, with keyframes. So I'm going to do that with keyframes so you guys can do it along with me. So let me drag in a little video. 12 seconds later. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I just dragged in a uh, no copyright sounds video. And I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. It doesn't need to be that long. So what we're going to do now, uh, guys, in order to make the shake, is you just want to pick, you know, the clip that you want to, that you want to have to shake. Then you just want to click on this little icon which says Event Pan Crop. This one. Boom. And this is the window where you're going to make it move. So in order to make this move, guys, you're going to use keyframes. So at the bottom, you see a little timeline. What you want to do is you just want to start pressing on there. Then you just want to move it a, like a little bit. And you just want to place a, a new keyframe, place it another uh, direction, place a new keyframe. Like just anytime, just move it a little bit. And, then it's go and that's going to make the shake movement. So as you guys can see, I'm just putting uh, the keyframes down. And anytime you put a keyframe down, a new one, you just want, you want to put it a little bit, you know, uh, somewhere else so it's going to shake so I'm just gonna do it like real quick put keyframes down always it's like stop motion you know you pick like like one boom then you move it a little bit then a new keyframe move it again a little bit like that now I'm gonna make it like this boom and I'm going to continue doing this until it shakes so it, it is just a matter of keyframes so as you guys can see I have a lot of keyframes I'm gonna continue doing it for a little while now so I can actually show you guys how it shakes so anytime you put a keyframe down like i said just move it a little bit or you want them like turn it like how, however you want i'm just putting it random so i'm just going to put keyframes down boom like this as you guys can see i have all the keyframes right there and i'm going to play back the video and let's see what it looks like As you guys can see, it's not really shaking. But so, what you want, how to fix that is you just want to move all the keyframes closer to each other. So I'm gonna place this keyframe right here. Then I'm going to put this one really close, really close. Let me do this for the entire timeline. So make sure those keyframes are really close to each other. So the movement is going to be faster and faster because the faster the keyframe is on each other, the faster it goes. How further a keyframe is one of one keyframe, how slower it's going to be. That's how it works. So I'm gonna put the last keyframes right there. Three more keyframes to go. This guy, this guy, and the last one. Boom, now they're really close on each other as you can see. Let's see how it looks right now. As you guys can see, it's going really, um, like it's going faster. So if you want to, like Alex, I'm not going to pl uh, place 15,000 keyframes, make this shot, you know, shake really quick. Well, what you what you can do is you can leave it like this. You just want, you can also X this out. And what you can do is you can speed up this clip. You just want to hold Control. You want to go stand on the edge, and you want to drag it to the left. So it's making, so it's making it going go faster. Let's see how it looks when I make this a lot faster. That looks a little bit better, guys. So let me make it as fast as possible in Sony Vegas. And let's see how it looks right now. That looks awesome, guys. As you guys can see, it's moving really quick right here, as you can see. And now the screen is shaking. It is that simple. You just want to use keyframes. Like I said, you want to place them really uh, short on each other, as you guys can see at the bottom. And then you just want to continue. Place a little bit further, new keyframe, further, further, new keyframe until you are happy with the end result. You can also speed it up and it's going to end up looking like this. So that's how simple it is, guys. That's how you make a screen shake. You can do this with anything. It's just a matter of keyframes. Place the keyframe down, make it a little bit further. Keyframe, other position, keyframe. And so, and you, then you just want to keep, keep doing that until you're happy with the end result. I would say this looks freaking amazing, guys. As you guys can see, it is shaking and it's going really quick right here. And that's basically how to make a screen shake, guys. It is that easy. I know I made like a tutorial about how to make a screen shake in the past, but this is just like a 2016 updated version. So I, I really hope this tutorial is helpful to you guys. And I would say, that's the end of the video so that's how simple it is guys that is how you make the screen shake it is that easy just it's just you know a matter of placing keyframes and then just uh drag the uh, screen to there then to there to there to there to there to there to there just make sure that you have uh, on random places so that's how you make you know the screen shake that's how simple it is thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as i enjoyed to make this video so thanks again for liking and commenting on this video so i will see you guys tomorrow just alex helford